Chalice is a small city in Idaho with a population of 1,083 people. Despite its small size, the city is still the largest in Custer County, Idaho. The region of Chalice is famous for its volcanic activity as well as the natural beauty of its national forest and the Salmon River. The Chalice region is located in Custer County, which is found in the eastern part of Idaho. This image shows where the majority of the volcanic activity in the region takes place. The Chalice Volcanic Region was formed in the Eocene era over 60 million years ago. The formation was due to the subduction of the Farallon Plate beneath the North American Plate. The angle of subduction was originally very shallow. But around 56 million years ago, the subduction rate slowed and the angle of subduction became much steeper. This steeper subduction is the main reason for the formation of the Chalice Volcanoes. Volcanic eruptions began in the region around 51 million years ago, and the volcan volcanoes remained very active for 6 million more years. The eruptions consisted of intermediate and mafic lava flows, as well as explosive silica-based ash. These eruptions were a major contributing factor to many of the geologic structures in the region. The first phase began 52 million years ago. It included intrusion of shallow granitic plutons three to four miles below the surface. The second phase included volcanic eruptions occurring 51 to 45 million years ago. It included effusive and voluminous intermediate and mafic lava flows. Also, highly explosive silicic ash flows. Violent eruptions of rhyolitic ash tufts and ignimbrites caused a collapse of many calderas between 49 and 45 million years ago. A caldera is a volcanic feature formed by the collapse of a volcano into itself, forming a large, special form of volcanic crater. Large volcanic eruptions can cause magma chambers to empty beneath the volcano, triggering a caldera collapse. Two calderas that were created are the Van Horn Peak and Twin Peaks. In 1968, the Great Rift was designated as a national landmark. The Great Rift system consists of a series of north-northwest trending fractures, which extend 50 miles from the northern margin of the eastern Snake River Plain, southward to the Snake River. Some major structural features of the Chalice Volcanic Group are that they contain many high and low angle normal faults that tend to dip towards each other. All normal faults make up the Trans Chalice Fault Zone. The irregular contact relationships show the pre Chalice paleotopographic slopes resemble modern slopes. Craters of the Moon is a U.S. National Monument and National Preserve in the Snake River Plain in central Idaho. It is a large lava flow field consisting of cinder cones, spatter cones, lava tubes, volcanic bombs, and tree molds. It runs along the northern border of the Snake River Plain. It also contains 55 cones with lava flows and 14 fissures, many which include spatter cones. Spatter cones are formed of molten lava ejected from a vent. Expanding gases in the lava fountains tear the liquid rock into irregular blobs that fall back to earth, forming a heap around the vent. The rock which splashes down and over the sides of the developing mound is called a spatter. 
Many of the cinder cones are higher on one side due to strong winds during their eruptions. A cinder cone is a cone formed around a volcanic vent by fragments of lava thrown out during eruptions. The rocks located in Chalos, Idaho formed over 52 million years ago. There were two stages that took place to give us our major rock types we see today. Those two events were the intrusion of granitic pluton and volcanic eruptions. Those eruptions occurred 51 to 45 million years ago. The chalice area can be broken up into two different sections, the northern part and the southern part of the chalice. In the northern part of chalice, our main rock types that we see today are intermediate to mafic. Those include dacite, amphibolite, biotite, andesite, and largely basalt. Part of the rhyolite and ash flow tufts came from the Van Horn Peak, which gave us Ellis Creek. Ellis Creek is the largest area that is covered from the ash flow and makes up 1,500 meters of the area and stretches 400 meters from the Van Horn area. In Southern Chalice, we have conglomerate, tuff, breccia, andesite lava flows, and acidic to radioacidic rock type. The acidic to radioacidic rock type we see are the most voluminous units in chalice and are important because the area contains flow units that can indicate many different ways in which explosive eruption occurred. Also, the conglomerate area called Smiley Creek conglomerate is an important area of rock type because the patterns indicate the deposition of chalice volcanism and helps geologists define and determine age constraints on which early chalice volcanism also occurred. A major resource that Chalice is used today for in mining give us some of the most valuable and useful materials. Those materials consist of gold, silver, copper, lead, zinc, uranium, and building stone. These are all found through mining and these materials are given to us from the volcanic and plutonic activity that form the domes and calderas that are in place today.